Hey guys, welcome to Sabina's Mind. I want to give you some travel tips, like uh, some precaution measure I take uh, because I'm traveling alone as a woman alone. Uh, so first one, it's a funny one, baby. Uh, it only works if you're a woman or you wear a bra, doesn't matter. My credit card, I always put it in my bra, so it's like on my body. Because the most important thing when I'm traveling for me is my credit card and my passport. Because I think if I have my credit card and I have my passport, I'd be fine. I, they can rob me of my clothes, shoes, whatever. You can always easily replace them, but I don't want to lose my credit card or my passport. So my passport, whenever I move from A to B or whatever, I have it in my money belt. Same as uh, some, uh, ex my extra debit card, uh, my passport and some cash money. Like uh, I travel with some cash euros and some cash uh, American dollars. So I can always pay that in uh, cash or I can exchange that money for the currency where I'm at at that moment. The money belt, I don't wear it like usual, like on the uh, body, like on the uh, I said it belly button. I love that word. It's so funny. But I wear it under here. So I place it actually at the same height under my, I don't know how you call it, but I place it under that I think like if you wear it low, they can actually uh, rip it open or cut it open and you still got, uh, rid, of, got rid of it. So I always wear it high and on the side that you always can feel if somebody touches it so that are like actually two very good precaution measures you can take for safety another one is that i'm as a single woman i always actually try to book uh, hotels hostels close to the center i think uh, i hope and till now it always worked that if I'm close to the center that I can go uh, explore the town very easy by myself and I also go even in the evening can go to uh, restaurants or bars and just walk back you can also say like yeah but if you go a little bit outside the center you save money well I think if you're gonna uh, if it's late or the weather is nasty or you don't feel that safe you probably spend money on going by a cab or an uber so I rather uh, put that money in uh, getting closer to the center and feel a little bit more safe till now I was fine Another one is, you can probably see, this is a very quick river and actually a lot of people say like it's a good river to swim in but the, uh, it's very, the stream is very strong. So I would suggest if you go somewhere, especially if you travel alone but also if you're together and there's like some sporty adventure stuff going on always ask if it's good to go and if it's safe to go because a lot of areas it's different if there's a dry season or it's a rainy season if it's safe uh, like going to a waterfall or crossing a river uh, it can be that in the rainy season it's not safe or it's extra slippery so you have to make maybe wear different types of shoes so the best people to know if it's safe and good to go it's always the local people. They know the area and they know the seasons and they know what's going on. A lot of times it's okay if you go with the two of you because if you both have a cell phone and if something goes wrong with one of them, the other one can uh, get help. So that's actually uh, two, uh, two, three very good tips. Uh, I think they're actually uh, the first two uh, I, I made it myself. And a lot of people laugh when I sell, tell them. But I know that a lot of travels I already met, the, the woman, they actually do the same. So it is a little bit weird if you go to a registry and say, can I pay my card? And I say, sorry, I, I keep my credit card in a safe place. So it actually makes a lot of people even also smile. But I think that is a, a very uh, practical tip and it's very easy to do and it feels for me it feels extra safe you always have like uh, uh, my number one payment uh, is very good 
do you have safety tips yourself that you think I should share here? You can uh, send them to me, of course. I would be very happy to hear other the suggestions and I can uh, bring it on to other people. I hope you like my tips. You can subscribe at the button. You know what to press. Subscribe to my uh, channel. And on the other side, you can go to my blog. It's in Dutch, but you can translate it. It's even on the blog page already. Uh, and you can uh, put uh, most of the times your computer would suggest that you uh, translate it too. And you can, of course, also go to my Instagram. In my Instagram, there are much more pictures of my travels. See you later, guys.